if I were to take a biopsy of my elbow tendon inserting into my lateral epicondyle bone, I take a biopsy where the tendon inserts into the bone, I put it under a microscope, I ask you to take a pen and I want you to draw a line whereby the right side of the slide represents bone and the left side of the slide represents tendon. There's no such thing as this line. The line doesn't exist. All you can do is draw a line down the middle and you can say on the right side of this line, this, the cells, fibers and ground substance resemble more bone type stuff. On the left side of the line, it represents more tendon type stuff. Hi, I'm Dr. Andreo Spina, creator of the Functional Range Release Soft Tissue Management Systems. On that joint. So now I actually want to lift off from glenohumeral joint. Everything else stays the same. Air goes into the lower abdominal region. I think one of the biggest misconceptions surrounding the Functional Range Release uh, System is that it's simply a soft tissue technique. When in fact the system covers everything from assessment using specific clinical palpation to soft tissue treatment application, to rehabilitation and injury prevention so fulcrum, strategies. Grip, and now you're leaning down and pulling up. So that's the guillotine. Get contraction in these muscles. Okay, so this is an increased neural drive or a heightened activity of the nervous system. Another important factor that separates FR release certifications from other manual uh, therapy seminars is our focus on communicating the scientific basis behind the technique. A large component of the certification seminar is actually dedicated to teaching and introducing the participants to the supporting literature um, around the technique so that they can then make sound clinical decisions and provide the best manual treatment therapies available.